thousands of dogs and their owners across the country will be taking part in Take Your Dog to Work Day today. But for some people, taking their dog to work is an everyday necessity. Yeah, Graham Sage is a primary school teacher who brings his hearing dog, Jovi, to school uh, with him. Jovi helps him with many of his daily tasks, from getting his attention if a student raises their hand to making him aware of when the bell has rung. So both he and Jovi are with us in the studio. And we're also joined by David Robinson from Hearing Dogs for Deaf People with puppy in training, Aria, being very well behaved, having a good sniff around our studio. Um, good to see both of you this morning. Thank you for having me too. Uh, what kind of impact has it been for you taking your dog to work with you on you and the kids? Uh, it's made a massive impact on me. Um, I've really enjoyed having him in the classroom because it's made me feel a lot more relaxed. Um, mm. I mean, I don't have to miss any, uh, any lessons or uh, missing when uh, an activity should be ended. Um, Can you so. explain how Jovi works in the classroom and how the children benefit from him being there as well? So he um, alerts me to fire alarms or smoke alarms that, are, that might go off. Um, and uh, if they do, he would come up to me, nudge me, lie down on the floor because it's a danger sound, and then take me out of the room. Have you always had issues with hearing? Because it seems like quite a challenging profession to go into, being a teacher, <laughs> if you have difficulties. I've not always had uh, hearing loss, no. Um, mm. I started to lose my hearing at about 15, I think. Um, I wasn't really too sure. Um, when I was in a, a classroom environment, it was obviously quite close. Yeah. So I could lip read whilst I was in the classroom. Uh, I really only noticed when I got to university when the lecture halls were far bigger. Yeah. Um, and if I didn't get in early enough, then uh, I wouldn't necessarily be able to see what the lecturer was saying. And what about the kids? Because I would imagine having a dog in a classroom is a great excuse to sort of for muck distraction about. and muck about <laughs> and enjoy the dog's, com dog's company. Well, the boys at Malta are fantastic. They, they love having him in the classroom. Um, every morning they say hello to him and give him a good pet and a little bit of a treat. Um, and they you know, they know when to, when to leave him alone, when it's work time. Um, but. And does he? And he also I understand if you're at the at the board and you're writing something on the whiteboard or whatever, and one of the boys puts his hand up, obviously you can't hear them saying "sir, sir, sir." And, and Jovi will will get your attention and say someone wants to ask a question. Yeah, sometimes a boy has um, you know asked Jovi to come to them and then sent him to go and get me because if, if I don't hear them. So is does that he grasp them up if they're throwing paper at each other <laughs> behind your back? Uh, <laughs> he might be able to. Let ah, me you somehow. see. Yeah. <laughs> Very uh, handy. So David, let's talk a little bit about this because of course you're from the. This is Arya. Arya's in training, isn't she? She is. And she's named after Arya from Game of Thrones. She is, yes. Uh, <laughs> and what's the process like? And, and we can clearly see from Graham the difference that, that Joby's made to his life. Yeah, definitely. So um, the process, generally speaking, you, you have a puppy like Arya here. Um, she's six months old. She's a cockapoo. Um, for the first 14 months of her life, she'll live with a volunteer puppy trainer. And uh, she will, <laughs> she will um, learn all the things that she, she needs to learn to be a well-adjusted dog. So, for example, uh, experiencing all the sights and the sounds and the smells and the experiences that any adult dog would come across. Yeah. Um, and also learning to be a, a well-behaved dog and a, and a sort of functioning member of society, if you will. Um, so when the dog's got to a certain stage, it will then begin its sound work training, which is where the dog is taught to alert mm. a deaf person to a sound. So, effectively, they act as their ears. It's interesting, isn't it, because you can see that oh, Arya's just chewing young, the set. Yeah, she's and just she's just showing... Jovi was just looking at uh, there, going, like, oh, you silly young Yeah. <laughs> now, the way this works is that... that um, we've got a test, haven't we, Graham, that involves an alarm. Yeah, we'll uh, get So we'll get a sense of what Jovi will do. So Sean's got an alarm over there. Sean's going to set the alarm, and then Jovi will hopefully hear the alarm and take you to the alarm. Hopefully. Unnatural circumstances, to be fair, but yeah. let's see. Hey, good boy. No right. Let's see. Have you set that one, Sean? Five seconds to go. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of time between it. OK, let's see. Oh. oh Jove is definitely looking at the alarm, but she might not realise it's an alarm that you need to know about, I guess. She might not. What is it? What is it? Oh, there you go. There you go. She's trying to find it. Oh, she, she's got, it's got distracted by the smell around Kate's chair. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. 
Oh, he found it. There you go. Well done, Jovi. Well done, Jovi. Well done. Amazing. So you get and a sense. And of course, if you were in your normal environment, then I guess you know when you're training dogs, they would know the alarms that are vital to their owner to hear and know. Yes, about, exactly. And a lot yeah. of our training is very bespoke. So yes. it depends on what a person's needs are. So, for yeah. example, a dog could be trained to alert somebody to a baby monitor. Yes. Uh, like a, a child crying. So. Um, or a fire dependent. alarm in the case of a classroom. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. quite. Well, look, quite. it's been an absolute treat. Thank you, Graham, really for coming has. in and bringing it here, Jovi. Really David, thank you very much. Good luck to Arias for the rest of her training. Thank you. A bit of nibbling going on here and there, but I'm sure she'll be a great addition to what is an extraordinary thing. And if you could get Jovi to have a tidy up under the desk where I was, that would be really handy. That would be very useful.